Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and ring the bell. Everything I have linked to be linked to down in the description and let's get right into the video. So for today's video, I will be doing a um, no supply unboxing and I was gifted this box by um, Carla the Realist on YouTube. I will leave a card with her channel, but I lost some footage of the beginning but here is the rest of the video. Um, all you guys missed was um, a couple of glitters, which are very gorgeous. And I'm pretty sure I do have a clip with them in it. So this is what it looks like. Very, very pretty. Next, we have some Born Pretty Chrome. And I was actually just looking for some chrome just like this. And I saw Zule. Um, actually put some on her store and I was like, oh, maybe I'll get, get it from Dulé. But she included it here and you guys, it's that actual like mermaid chrome that's been going um, viral again. She also included a pinky purple version. These are all chromes by the way. And this one is a greeny pink version. I love chromes. I just never use them for some reason. And then it also came with a mini applicator, which is really cute. And these are all from Born Pretty, I believe. And then this is some gold leaf, some foil. But this is more like shardy, so I think it's, it feels like foil, but it looks kind of like shards. So that's really cute. And then there's this gold striping tape. And it's like gold glitter. Really pretty. Also, I'll leave the link to um, her channel in the description and in the cards. So she sent some foils and they're floral foils. I can't wait to see how these um, peel. I love foils, but I don't always get to use them because not everybody wants foils anymore for some odd reason. And then we're getting into the second layer. This is the silver version of the foil. So there is a little capsule of glitter I kind of showed you guys and it's really pretty. Here is the flower. I forgot what it's called. Everybody puts like the actual um, artist in their like titles and all that, but I forgot what it's called. They have that flower as a charm and then a smaller version here and then some cute butterflies that are iridescent. These are cute. I love. And then she included some um, St. Patrick's Day stickers. Sorry if the lighting is weird. I'm trying to get it situated because I just feel like my videos are too dark and too yellow, so I had another light. So I definitely need to get my older one, but I don't know where it is. But let's get into the rest of the glitter opening, and then I'm going to do these acrylics down here. And this is these two are from Young Nails. They don't have names, which is very common for young nails, but this glitter is cute. It's just a pink iridescent glitter, and it has a very strong green lift, uh, not lift, but it pulls green, and depending on what angle you have it, it looks really green, but it kind of shifts through all the colors eventually, but overall it's a pink glitter. The same thing with this one, but just the purple version. And it, it leans that bluey green too, and it's so pretty. I've always wanted to try some Young Nails glitters. I don't know why, <laughs> but I've always wanted to try some. So she sent me a Soft Touch by Valentino. I've, sorry if you can hear my mom, but I've been wanting to try Valentino products for so long. 
This is from A Galore. I've wanted to try their products too. This is number 26. I will be doing swatches. This is 117. This is like a peachy color. Oh, this is a gel paint from A Galore. Y'all know I love me a good gel paint. I really like this container that the gel paint comes in. Sorry, I personally like to do this. I know it's messy right now, but I'm gonna clean this room up in just a second. So in the video I'm about to upload, literally like right now, but you guys have already seen it. I put the cotton pads in this and it takes a little bit of, you guys would think it would be so easy, right? But it's a little bit of a learning curve um, to this product. So beware if you get it, you might have to finesse it just a little bit because lint-free wipes stick together. So when you're trying to get it out, you can't just get one. You might get a stack or you might get none or it might shoot out across the table. So just beware, it is cute and it does work, but it is a little bit finicky, but just be careful. Um, but I really enjoy it so far and now, that I've used it a couple times. It's working just like it's expected to work. I just wanna say that I wiped this entire container down, like scrubbed it down with um, the acetone. And this container is 100% acetone resistant. So like none of the letters came off, like nothing's floating or peeling away. So I already read, like I already liked the container before, but I definitely like it now and I like how deep it is. So these are also some stickers that she included. Four gel paints, um, three of the crones, um, flower foils. Two things of the young nail glitters and then this red glitter right here, which is very pretty and then the um, flower confetti glitter, silver and gold foil, the um, flower charms and butterfly charms, the colored rhinestones, and then the glitter um, striping tape, and then these acrylics. So she sent me five acrylics. I will be showing you guys the paint as well as the, as well as the acrylics. So I'm gonna be right back and set up for acrylics. So I'm gonna start off by, because it is a gel paint and with gel paint, I typically like to draw with them and I'm not a good drawer, but I'm gonna try and draw a French, right? Because the whole point of a gel paint is it's supposed to be thicker than a um, regular gel so you can actually like draw with it. So. That wasn't bad at all. This brush came from a um, solid cream gel kit. I was trying to think of the, the name for the product. So I've been really loving this brush ever since. You guys see how shaky I am? I've had way too much caffeine today to be doing this, but you know, I'm just seeing the consistency and what it looks like. Okay. Cute. Yeah, this definitely works for drawing. But you guys, I I live. I love this. So, and it drew very nicely. It'll of course need a second coat, but that was not bad at all. It was really easy and I didn't struggle at all really, trying to draw the line with the, the gel. That color was G021. 
and it, it has a nice consistency um if you wanted to just paint all over the nail with this you could this one is g010 So that's one coat of it and it's way more pigmented when you do it like this of course because you're applying more gel like throughout everything but it looks pretty good the rest of them i'm just going to do a full um swatch of just because i can't draw fringes right now my hands are way too shaky so this one is g009 and it's just a darker version um more purple version of the previous color And if you guys are wondering, I am using the Melody Susie Light um, right now because like um, it says you can use it for the manicure and for curing uh, the gel. That was G009. This one is G032. Ooh, and that's just like the consistency of it. Like this is more viscous than the, it's runnier than the Savvy Land, but it's not as viscous as the Anself. Anself is another gel um, paint or a potted gel. You definitely will um like move in the pot more and slide more versus the savvy land ones the savvy land ones have a little bit more you have to hold it down for just a little bit longer but it's still pretty um it still has the ability to like run this one is really pigmented At first, I was like, I wasn't really into the color of this green, but now seeing it actually like on the nail, it's actually really pretty. And this will go great in fall. Gorgeous. And this one like self leveled out perfectly. So I'm gonna cure them for 60 seconds and see how they turn out. I only did one coat of the green, which is G032. And you guys look, it's like pretty much perfect. And I did not top coat any of these. Um, ignore the line right here, um, how it's not a straight, but it was just for a test, so it's okay. This orangey brown color, which is, these colors are operated for fall, is called G021. And all I did was cure these for 60 seconds just because it is a gel paint. If it was a gel polish, I would maybe try 30 seconds or if I'm doing a thin layer that I just want to flash here, 30 seconds. But um, if you're fully curing it, 60 seconds or more. So G010 is the like, is the bubble gum color and it's gorgeous. Like this is a very pretty pink and I wasn't too sure about the green at first, but now I really like it. 
and I put a thick layer of the pink, as you saw, the Giro, Giro, the G010. And you guys, these just self leveled out so beautifully. But the one thing I have to say is be careful with getting the gel um, everywhere because if you're like me and you're messy, right? But you love the gel in the pots, you always have to wipe it off very good and wipe your hands off because sometimes you don't know how, but it's like all over your hands or it's in an area of your hand you didn't even know you had. So just be very careful and make sure you wipe everything off. These do cure with a tacky layer, so I'll be interested in getting a black and a white. It looks like a decent amount comes in the um, pot and the colors went on very nice. They looked a little bit streaky at first, but the same thing with each other gel paint and polish. And this is more of like a hybrid of the two where it's thicker, but at the same time, it still self levels. So even if it's a solid gel, it will still, um, once you start to get it emollient, which you guys saw with like my Burberry, Burberry um, solid gel cream video, which is where this brush came from. How even though it was like a solid cream gel, you could flip it upside down, it didn't move versus these where they're like moving all over the place. Those and these still self level very, very well. It's just what a gel does. So even after the first coat, I was like, even though there is like a, there was like a clear spot, it was semi clear down here. It was still gorgeous. And this final color is G009 and it's just a dusty pink color. And you guys, I really did enjoy all of these. I enjoy the formula. Like I said, it's in between to where it's not like the Savvyland one. With the Savvyland one, it's like a thicker gel paint, but it still moves a little bit. And then the ends of it's just a regular gel polish that they call um, gel polish. They don't even try and say it's gel paint or anything like that. But that one moves a lot. It's very liquidy. This one is in between those two, but it's on the, the liquider side. Um, and I love said I did not top coat and they are super super shiny So I really enjoyed these and I will most definitely have to go pick up a black and a white Because with the tag on this it is a bit of a tackier one. The, the tack is pretty strong. So it would be perfect perfect for doing um Like the ombre designs or the the um, ombre powder or um, neon powders or even putting like the acrylic powder over the nail and like blending it or just kind of doing a design with it. Perfect for that. And so yes, I will most likely get the black and the white from this. Now it's time for the acrylic. So I'm gonna open up A Galore um, 117. I know a lot of people have been loving A Galore and I wanted to try it out so bad. And I'm really glad you sent it. So this is number 26. So yeah, if you ever have powder on top of your your um, seal, just do it like that and you won't make a mess. Um, it's just easier that way. This is the ATD Nails Acrylic and this one I think is called like Sassy Acrylic. Yes. And it is a bright cherry red. Ooh, I'm gonna spill that. This is the Glam and Glitz BL3044 Bold Digger. You guys, look at this glitter. I'm gonna shake it. Because you're supposed to shake it to redistribute all the glitter. I did not expect that. Looking on the outside, it looks 100% matte. Like, do you see that? And then look at the top. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. This is gonna be a perfect... color for Christmas or like birthdays or anything like that because my very first acrylics that I ever got was like he did it with clear and then he put the red gel polish over it and that was just it like I just love red period like just a solid red set I've done that before but this has like the glitter in it and gorgeous this is absolutely stunning and then of course we have the Valentino soft touch over here. Um, please ignore the little splotches of paint. It was, 
it was a messy time because I'm extremely messy when it comes to the powders like you guys I've been wanting a Valentino powder for so long let me shake this up too I should probably shake all the other acrylics up hold on give me a second I'm very excited to test out all of these powders you guys I love acrylic I really do I'm gonna be swatching this with a Beatles size 12 brush and this is very beat up so please don't look at the quality of the brush but it is a very good brush but I've just tortured this brush and it still works very well so And it's kind of like polymerizing instantly. It is very hot in here. I say that all the time, but that's gorgeous. Okay, so this is another A galore. I really like this consistency. It's very smooth. Like it polymerizes very nicely. And I'm just gonna pat that into action. And then see. And this one might be on the slower setting side, but it polymerizes very nicely. I feel like it's on the slower setting side because it would have dried up immediately. I got a little bit of glitter on here somehow. So instead of digging it out, I'm just gonna take a file and go over it and we'll take it out quickly. And you guys, this watch is the best watch so far. I really like to see the A Galore powder. So the final solid color is called Sassy Acrylic. And then we're gonna move on to the this acrylic. I feel like it's I don't want to say a classic acrylic, but everyone's probably felt this super pigmented like acrylic before and where the consistency is very smooth. That's exactly what this powder is.
one is the smoothest application so far. I'm very familiar with a consistency just like this one. The Angular ones, I felt a similar powder to that, but it feels like another one mixed with it, like a powder I felt before, and I really like this consistency as well. This one, it reminds me of, have you guys felt the Model 1's consistency? But this is just an upgraded version of that, and I really love it. Like, it has a pigmentation of that, but it has the actual blendability of like a regular um, acrylic that's not 100% pigment because those are super, super pigmented and you can just like put a little bit of the color on and boom, that's it. And then cap it in clear. This actually has some more substance to it, but that color is still there. I really like it. And then finally the Glam and Glitz. I've always, always wanted to try Glam and Glitz. I'm very excited to try this color. I hope I was in frame, y'all. I did that the very last um, swatch video, the bomb nails one. Ooh. I love, that's gorgeous. I had um, the same issue where I wasn't in frame. This is absolutely stunning. And then a teeny tiny one. Oh my gosh. It's like packed full of glitter. I've been wanting colors like this, but in like every color with like each different combination of glitter to so like a nude or yeah, like a nude and some like gold glitter or a pink and some gold glitter with glitter just like this where it's glitter all throughout, but you can still see that base of acrylic. You guys look at this consistency. It's gonna meet all the way to the end like I said, this is a size 12 brush. I'm not pulling very hard. But I am just trying to make sure it goes from side to side. And then flick this up. I'm just going to touch my finger. I'm not supposed to, but I'm just going to touch it because this... It's fantastic. And it still has a little bit of move to it. You guys, look at that. This is absolutely stunning. And that was one bead and it did the entire swatch stick. No patches. The application is actually really nice. Like the structure of the nail is nice, kind of, sorta. I love everything that she gave. Now that I'm looking at it, now that it's dry, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. I know it's gonna be pretty. Y'all, I have to make sure I keep these from my mom because she will love, especially those uh, gel paints. Those are my mom's tones. She loves those. And I'm gonna see how hard these are because sometimes they can get a bit squishy. So you might have to encapsulate it versus leaving it alone. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Uh-oh, it's still... Still drying, I think. Yeah, because look, you can still indent this one, but you can't. And of course, this one's still gonna be wet. But it's still pretty. It's getting there. That's honestly really good. So I'm guessing you just have a little bit more working time with this acrylic, the Sassy Acrylic by, I think it's called ATL or ATD. Yeah, by ATD Nails, gorgeous. I will definitely have to pick up more powders and gels because this was gorgeous. And the final one, I did have to refill my monitor, but it did tint it, and I, I'm i okay with that because this is just gorgeous. Like, look at this. Gorgeous. But let me show you how to get this little one piece of glitter out. Instead of, like, scooping it out with your, um, what's it called? Instead of scooping it out with your brush, just wait for it to dry and then file it. And then if you're going to encapsulate, encapsulate after that. But this is the Glam and Glitz color. I'm gonna talk about this one because it needs it. 
This one is gorgeous. Like typically in order to get like the best look, you wanna file it just a little bit, but you guys look, it's gorgeous. It looks just like gel polish. Like you use a glitter gel or you, you use a like, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't look like it's from a, like acrylic. Because of how packed full of glitter it is, it does not look like that at all. And this is just so gorgeous. I love that. I knew as soon as I added the clear to it, it would be even more transparent. A tad bit carried away of course the glitter was gone after the first pass but y'all know who i am y'all know i just had to file something shiny top coat and i'm just going to cure it for a full 60 seconds i'm going to come back with the finished results as well as my overall thoughts i mean you guys kind of already know it but i'll be back this is number 117 i love this color it's grown on me since it's set here and then once i top coated it it was like the nail in the coffin i love what it looks like it's from a galore i enjoyed the consistency of all of these powders this is soft touch by valentino i loved i'll most likely have to pick up some more but like i said i feel like this one is more advanced than all the other ones here and it is the most different in consistency this one is like a consistency i feel like most people would be able to use just in general and then would be this one and the glam and glitz would be on the kind of the same level but they're completely different consistencies as you can see this one was like a full one bead and that was it and it had no issues with anything this one um these two are the exact same brand um and it worked just fine you guys i love it this is number 26 by a galore this one is Sassy Acrylic by ATD Nails. And then this one is from the Color Blend Collection BL3044 Bold Digger. I love, I love everything. Here is the gel pots. These are all from A Galore, as you guys can see, and I love the packaging. It is acetone resistant, and it needs to be because, like I said, it will get messy if you are messy like me, or let's say you are just clumsy like me as well. You will most definitely need some, some form of like acetone just to wipe it off, and you'll be just fine. And here is all the colors again gorgeous all the glitters and the foils are gorgeous the chromes you guys are so pretty and they have three different shifts one is like pinky and bluey you guys i love i'm probably going to use the chrome in my next video and it's probably going to go in my birthday nails and 
I'll have to do a, a red glitter set later on. You guys, I love everything. Thank you so much, Carla. Um, again, her, her channel will be in the cards as well as in the description box. So go subscribe to her channel, uh, tell her hi, watch her videos, comment on her videos. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.